Oh yeah, I would definitely wait, especially we have yeah, 60 that's, degrees in the forecast, you guys, 60. That scares yeah. me, and because the, the snow also, like, it's so heavy. Insulation. It's, yeah. It insulates it, it keeps it warmer, it's heavy, all those things. Oh, I love ice fishing, but please wait, you guys. <laughs> Not for me. Please wait. Yeah. I'm waiting. Everybody wait for that, okay? I'll let you know when it's okay to go out there, I promise, because I'll be out there with you guys. All right, temperatures yesterday made it into the mid-30s to low 40s into Fond du Lac. Pretty crazy, wild, above average temperatures, a lot of moisture adding as fuel for the snowstorm that's headed our way. And of course, we're waking up this morning to dark skies. 718 is the sunrise. Temperature is about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than yesterday morning. Can't really tell too much of a difference. We're flirting with that freezing mark into the low 30s to upper 20s this morning. Winds moving out of the north, calm at the moment, three to seven miles per hour, but they're going to pick up this afternoon and they're already creating wind chills to where it feels like the low 20s on occasion. So overcast cloudy skies out there. We are looking at some light flurries starting to fly into Watoma and Princeton area out ahead. This is the leading edge of this system here. Now there is some heavy snow bands already starting to set up along I-90, just north of it actually, where you can see the dark purples and those dark blues. That's the heavy snowfall rates. So watches and mornings have been issued all the way from Colorado through the Midwest into the UP of Michigan as well. We are in a winter storm warning into our northwestern counties, Aconto, Shauna, Wapaka, Langlade, Menominee, where you're going to see the heaviest amount of snow, pretty much snow the whole time. Into the advisory area of Door County, Green Bay, Appleton, Fox Valley, we are right on the edge of it where we could get some heavy, heavy snow or a lot of wintry mix, which is going to create some icy, slick, slippery conditions. So here's this bad boy moving its way here towards us throughout the afternoon. By early evening, we're going to see the snowfall arrive around 4 to 5 or so. Earlier than that, we could see a light mixed wintry drizzle. But of course, the main event, the heavy precipitation, much later this evening. This is when the roads are going to drastically decrease in quality there. So snowfall first here for Green Bay and the Fox Valley. Then as we head towards the 9, 10 o'clock hour, notice rain lifting in. And this pink line right here is the freezing rain, sleet, very dangerous as it switches over very drastically. You can have rain on your windshield, and then one second later, it could be frozen on it. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be very dangerous driving conditions tonight and tomorrow morning because overnight, it'll be that wintry mix lifting towards the Fox Valley and Green Bay. Then it starts to slide back down as we go through to tomorrow morning, turning back to snow as temperatures get back below freezing. So the fact that we're flirting with that freezing mark is making the storm so unknown and dangerous and even an ice concern into these areas. So this is the biggest icing, heavy snow possibility into that while up here into the winter storm morning where you're looking at over eight inches of snowfall into those pink areas. Here into Green Bay and the Fox Valley, honestly, we could get anywhere from three to about seven inches or so. So we're kind of in that mark there. Now this will all wind down by early tomorrow morning by 11 p or 11 a.m. It looks like we're just see some clouds and then sunshine by lunch. Wind staying breezy though, gusting up to 40 miles per hour tomorrow and for your Sunday as well. We're looking at a lot of sunshine out there for the Packers game. That's because of this high pressure that will build. It's going to be a big one and another Colorado low builds. This is going to give us a heat wave that's going to be melting our snow later on next week. So for right now, today high temperatures into those mid 30s, staying to the low 30s tonight and then back to the mid 30s for us tomorrow as the storm cruises on through and then a high of 36 as we look at that Packers game. So we take a look at that for the actual game. If you're going to be tailgating and going to it, temperatures in the low 30s with a wind at 15 miles per hour is going to make it feel more like the 20s out. Out there, but look at this. We have chances for rain on Wednesday, 50 degrees, 60s on Thursday. That the potential, yes, quite a heat wave headed our way, and that's going to hang on to it as we go into the middle of or end of December as well. So, quite a warm, above average forecast here for us. I have never seen something like this from a big snowstorm to 60 degrees, and we're going to crash back after that, too. So, huge roller coaster ride for us. I mean, it'd be funny if you know, next week after that warm up, we just get snow all over again. Snow, and it's or hit our, or hit our like coldest temperatures yet. Right? Let's do it. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> Thanks, Brian.